My name is Kenny Ingram. I'm 13 and I collect Billy Joel stuff. It all started when my music teacher gave me a part in a song, a solo, called Billy Joel, The Longest Time. Ever since then, I've loved his music and I've loved to collect his stuff. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The red crowd shuffles in. So a few of the albums I'm looking for, like I'm looking for probably four or five albums, is uh, Billy Joel, Cold Spring Harbor, uh, River of Dreams, both on vinyl, and A-T-T-I-L-A, at Atlia, I think that's how it's said, and it's one of him and his drummer, John Small, him playing the organ. And it's, most people don't really like it, but I, I like the songs on it. Billy Joel's song is on an album called Cold Spring Harbor, and it's called Tomorrow Is Today. Well, it was actually his uh, suicide note, and he tried to kill himself by drinking furniture polish, and uh, but it didn't work, and his drummer found him and took him to a mental hospital. And the reason he said he drank it is because he said uh, it looked tastier than bleach. A friend of mine, he gets me my drinks for free, and he's quick with a joke. So I started liking Billy Joel by listening to some of his music and I found out that he, all of his songs, like a good portion of them are really good and um, I like that he, uh, he like has a meaning to all of his songs and I just can't listen to the techno stuff they put in the, on the radio today and my friends, uh, most of them don't really like Billy Joel kind of music so and yeah they're not as engaged as I am that kind of stuff. Paul is a real estate novelist who never had time for a wife. And he's talking with David, who's still in the Navy and probably will be for life. It's better than